All right, folks, I am back with the second video of the week. This time I have a tutorial for you guys. I was going to release a Jack's Rob the Bank masterclass on Wednesday, but I decided that would be a better thing to release at a later time. What I'm going to show you guys is my presentation for a Leonard Green effect called The Odd Card. If you don't know who Leonard Green is, you should look him up. He's got some you know, cool card tricks, stuff that he does, and he invented the um, snap deal, which is a pretty cool slight. And I'm going to show you my presentation, not reveal the trick, obviously, because it's not my trick to reveal. And then I'm going to show you a variation, or teach you a variation, utilizing the method used for the eight card brainwave. And if you don't know what the 8-card brainwave is, well, you're going to learn it. So, what you do is you go up to your spectator and you say, Hey, mix the de or, you know, mix the cards, give them a couple cuts. So they do that. Cut the cards a couple times, give them a good mix. And you spread them out on the table. And you say, Alright, so I have about 20 or so cards here. 19 of them are black and one of them is a red 10 of diamonds. And then you change the subject and go... You know, how do you feel about Star Wars? And then they say, yeah, I like Star Wars. It's like, all right, so what's the coolest thing about Star Wars? And they're going to say, you know, the you know fighter you know, ships or whatever, and the Force, and they might not mention what you're thinking, which is Jedi mind tricks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to utilize Jedi mind tricks on you to get you to pick the odd card. It's going to go like this. Look into my eyes. The odd card is the card you are looking for. You do not want any card besides the odd card. Now let that sink into your mind. And which card do you want? Let's say they say the two of clubs. It's like, okay, fine. Two of clubs. So now to you, it may look like I have significantly failed the task at hand. However, I didn't explicitly state that the odd card was the Ten of Diamonds. You see, all these cards have uh, blue backs. Every single card, if we go through here, blue back, blue back, every single one of them has a blue back. Except for one. The Two of Clubs. So that is the Leonard Green effect and now I'm going to teach you the eight card brainwave variation. So for the eight card brainwave variation, first I'm going to break down what the eight card brainwave is. So normally for the eight card brainwave what you need is four red backed cards of any value and four blue backed cards of any value. For the Jedi Mind Tricks slash Forcing presentation, what you use is four redback cards that are either all black or have one red card. And then for the other colored back cards, they'd all be black. Or you can even reverse it. You could have all the cards be red and have one black card. It doesn't matter. And then you interlace them red black, red, black, red, black. I, I've been saying black the whole time. Blue back, not red, black. Red, blue, back. But black could stand for blue back. You just combine blue with back and you get black. Anyways, so red, back, blue, back, cards interlaced. So now you have this set up here. And what this is going to allow you to do is go up to your spectator, and if they want, they can mix up the cards, give them a couple cuts. And then you say, I'm going to use Jedi Mind Tricks on you. And you do the whole, the odd card is the card you're looking for. You do not want any card besides the odd card. And whatever card they name, let's say they name the Queen of Clubs, you take all the cards beneath that card and place them on top of the pack. And what that allows you to do is do sort of a false count type thing where you go... Now, interesting thing is, it may look like I failed, but I didn't specifically state that the Ten of Diamonds was the odd card. 
And then you do the weird false count, where you take the top card, you show the back of the other pack as you show the top card, and when you come back down, you drop the card, top card in the left-hand pile down with the card in the right-hand pile, and then you just repeat this process. So every single card is red, backed, except for the Queen of Clubs. And that, my friends, is the tutorial. I might make another tutorial on Monday, who knows? It might be the uh, Jack's Rob a Bank Masterclass. Or there's a trick I have been working on, which I've been wondering if I should sell online. Because uh, I think it's good enough to sell online, but then again, maybe not. I'm going to give you a clue. It's got a Seinfeld reference as the name. And, uh... You know what, I don't even watch Seinfeld, but I know, you know, people like Seinfeld, just like people like The Office, and personally, I don't care for The Office. Seinfeld, yeah, you know, it can be funny sometimes, but, you know, The Office, I just, I, it can also be funny sometimes, but oftentimes I just watch one episode and just laugh 0% of the time. Anyways, so yeah, thanks for watching.